Um, and um, you know, it's it's history um, for people who just keep coming back, um, dropping in. I used to go to school here. Um, we have families who have had all of their kids go through this school. And Jenny, while this is happening, just explain. So it's it's um, eight thousand dollars for a commercial. Oh, sorry, it's eight eight thousand dollars for an Aquafil Hydro Bank water station. Can you explain what it's going to mean to you? Yeah, well, as I said, this school's an old girl, so after a while, old girls break down. So quite often we have things that um, break down and need fixing. And at the moment, um, we don't have water bubblers for kids in the undercovered area out here. So they're going to have a pretty fancy water station where there'll be drinking bubblers and um, little, um, well, like, I don't know what you call them, like water fillers, water bottle fillers as well. So. They'll be looking forward to that with summer coming on. So thank you so much for that. That's the lovely news. That's why we're here. And they're the stories we love to hear. Danny, there's your $100. Hey, there you go. There's a big winner right there. <laughs> and uh, this is the big check.
Hey everybody, my name is Mel Spikes and welcome to Emerald. We don't know what day it is, there's a bit of controversy. We've just finished up breakfast. I filmed every single car leaving except for a couple, so that's going to make for good viewing later. Where are we going, Robbo? Uh, miles. We're going to Miles. We're in trouble. The feature, not a fault. It's taken less than 12 hours to convert this fella into a Spike. <laughs> the condition of entry is he has to dress like Spikes. It's going to represent the fishing shed back us with us today. Hello. I have to take the phone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Speak the phone. Take it away. Are we stopping it? It's up to you.
This is Rolston. Not much here. Did you just do this to me? No. Did I do that to you? Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I just went. Magnificent. <laughs>
So this is our lunch stop, Leichhardt. VPO ah, vibes here. We've um we've just pulled in. Robbo is going to get fuel this morning, or rather last night after I um, finished my video. I pinched a nerve in my back, my lower back. It's something that happens once or twice a year. But today it's absolutely fucked and I can't fix it. And I've let Robbo drive all the dirt. I did the tire this morning, he's doing the dirt. I'm in agony, I'm in absolute agony. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Usually it takes a day or two to fix. The last time it happened, I was launching the boat. Something just pinches and it does my leg, it does my back. It's like everything is just like nerve pain. It's really bad. Anyway, we're going to have some lunch and then we're going to move on to Miles. Element. <laughs> No, you're right, I'm above it. We've snuck into a river. We've just come in to Miles, finally. I don't even know what the front of the bash car looks like. Let's have a look. Is that a duck or a turkey? Is it a goose? Not a goose, is it? Is it real? <laughs> is it laying an egg? Quack, quack. Is it a turkey or a duck? It's a duck, you know, a goose. I'd like to chase the duck. <laughs> He'll probably catch something, the bastard. Hey!
I'm a fighter. Would you like to know a fun fact? Yeah. You don't need a front number plate in Queensland. Oh really? Only a back. Oh, yeah, he's down. <laughs> Hello. It's dirty. We've been driving in Queensland, I didn't. Yeah. Welcome to Miles Accommodation. It's a little house.
That's a big rock. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I I love it. 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 A few cars out there that we spend a lot of time on. But there is one car in particular. Um, you know, I'll mention a couple of uh, noteworthy ones. Car 50, gets all charged every single day. Sometimes on the side. But despite uh, actually how much we put into this car, how much oil goes into this car, it's actually still cheaper to run than some of the fuel or something. Like <laughs> so I think this car is actually pulling up 50 litres of oil. But despite all that, it's not very important. Um, it goes to a different car. Um, another notable um, mention of the car 1947, they're virgin, they're doing pretty well. They nurse the car every day, and most mornings and afternoons, we have to chat with them. Um, a couple other cars, um, make sure I get the number on 202, I think it is, it's a uh, yellow HR. Yeah. Alright, yeah. he has most of the maintenance himself, so I probably don't even know most of the things that go wrong with this car. We've got a new distributor, the wheels falling off it, it sounds like an old train chugging a lot of the phone out of manifold gasket. Um, but no, he just didn't make the award. Alright, so, those who are paying attention, they might notice that there's a certain car that's parked on the side of the road, last to leave in the morning, multiple times on the side of the road, last into lunch. Alright, this car actually had two fuel tanks, at one point it had three fuel tanks in it, and we still did not get fuel to the engine. It took us a while, at one point we managed to get a small amount of fuel to the engine, it backfired the car where it caught fire. <laughs> we're looking at the car beyond fire, no one of the people of this car made any attempt to put that fire out. <laughs> <laughs> my wife actually put the fire out, and I look at the crew, and they actually looked a little bit disappointed. <laughs> We finally got the arm again then. That was no that was today actually, yes. Not long enough, that's on the side of the road again. Unfortunately it wasn't on fire. So um but the crew probably knows exactly what I'm talking about, it's had multiple other things go wrong. Is it Lego? Um and about how they had the red Lego system rebuilt before they went, but that also blew up. <laughs> um even that they imported parts in America. So make sure we get the number right here. Yeah, so it's uh, car 277, it's the uh, Lego car. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for Triple Four. Yeah. We struggled. We struggled. We spent all the year practicing for the Triple Fun Stop. <laughs> and uh, it was just a, a fun day to have, just like it was. And we all enjoyed ourselves very much to do it. In our stop, we should get each and every one up to celebrate each game they had as we worked our way through. But. We can't. We've got to get out of the serious business of fashion. And that's what it's all about. So, the triple fun stop that we had for 4 for 4 for 4, we had our set up of all the different things you could do. We had the hula hoop girls that absolutely stopped our show. They were outstanding. There was three outstanding girls. 
which I've been asked not to say anything about tonight because we haven't got the hoops. But <laughs> the outright winner of the triple front stop the four for four uh, was no doubt was the Gory Girls. <laughs> It's really that much, it's not a dream. It's not a dream. <laughs> Getting out of town 
and uh, realizing that he hadn't had a person in his car and didn't realize until he got to Emerald, which was 400 days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back from dinner early again. I'm going to do some editing. The nerve that's been pinched in my anus is um getting better it's still pinched so i've got a lot of pain running up and down my spine down to my knees kind of up my back but it all it all starts in my anus so hopefully tomorrow i wake up feeling better because i really want to drive on the dirt today i let robbo drive and boy did he drive i i need to check the footage but he absolutely thrashed the spiker door through the most amazing dirt track route on a bash i've ever seen there was water there was mud there was twists there was turns there was loose gravel there was sand it was just a beautiful scenic bash route like stock standard that is what you want when you're doing the bash so this video is going to be a very strangely structured video because I was in a lot of pain. I didn't do much filming. Um, I didn't, yeah, I, I was not in the right frame of mind. However, tomorrow is going to be something extraordinary. I'm going to try and document as much as I can and share it with you all. But um, that's all I'm saying. It's going to be an eye opener. And I'm definitely going to have a lot of things I want to say about tomorrow. So, yeah. Uh, where are we going tomorrow? We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. We've got two days left. So I know that much. Two more days. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for um, giving to the kids in need. Variety appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm going to go to bed, take care, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. Cheers. Perfect.